Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. The forecast for today is calling for warrior difficulty zombies on running speed, 125% block damage with an abundance of screamers. We're here this morning at Trader Joel's because we need to do a little bit of a sell off. Just make sure I have the Magnum out because that's the one thing I will always forget. And we'll see if he has an awesome sauce for sale in his vending machine, which he does. And only one too, so lucky us. Extra sugar butt there. And I've been trying to stock up on eye candy, but so far only been able to find one. Okay. Magnum out, awesome sauce, sugar butts, and sell. That's 13 grand off the first half, and another 5,800 off the second half. That is not too bad. Is there anything we need to buy here though? Okay, double pocket mod, probably gonna get that. Ooh, a couple of books here. And I'm, you know, I'm really not that hungry. I'm gonna save my pumpkin cheesecake in case there's a, a like a really big purchase that we need to benefit from sometime in the future. Got a level three pickaxe, I'll take that. I'll take that trigger plate one by one just so that we can test that out over at the base. Although we don't have dart traps just yet. Maybe I can craft those at this point. I think I can and that'll do it for him. Okay, we're looking for a job today to the north. Is this it right here? Nope, KLZ radio station. We want to go to the bear den. Doggos? No, that's not the one. Bob's Boris Carl's corn. <laughs> We're getting all the animals that we don't need. Pops, Pawn, and Bell's Bakery. That's right next door, but not quite the one. And the McMillan residence. Okay, skunked. Well, I guess we got to take some of these jobs anyway. Okay, and that gives us jobs kind of all over the place. Is this... Yeah, one of these over here is is the bear den. We gotta go there first so I can get some testosterone so that we can then make a cigar at some point. Okay, this is the neighborhood right here. We've got Aldo's cabinet, we got the bakery, and the bear den down at the end. And somewhere inside here is exactly what we're looking for, testosterone. And then we'll have to... Ooh. And we're gonna also need some plant fiber, and I was thinking for a second we could try and use the lawnmower for that. Um, yeah, I'll have to see if I can get the uh, lawnmower tractor accessories is that no it's the crop protector crop harvester grass collector mod oh it's a vehicle mod oh you need a specific schematic for that too okay well <laughs> maybe we won't do that but that would be very handy if i could all right zombies are not too terribly difficult today but we're getting to the point where we might start seeing an abundance of ferals inside okay rooftop is clear yep that's the prize right down there. If memory serves, yes, there's the bear right there. One of them, at least. Do we get two today, or is it just the one? Let's just pull him over. We'll do this one by one. Ah, yes, of course, he's stuck in the cage there. Whoop. <laughs> Mr. President, get down! And that should be good. Testosterone, please. There's one. Do we get... Yeah, we get two, I guess. I figured I would need some kind of a harvesting skill to do that, but... Oh, yes, and we've got the other one now. Yeah! Oh, jeez! Oh, I'm going for a ride today. I didn't expect him to burst out of there. There we go. Okay, and why do we have a spider around here? Where did you come from? Was there a wandering horde all of a sudden? No, we just have some random zombies over here. Where did you guys come from? Did you hear all the commotion or something? Oh, and all those that gunfire? Did we get a screamer? I don't hear one, but yeah, I think we got lucky there. We gotta be careful, though. The heat must be pretty high right now. No, oh, we definitely do have one. No, no, kill her. Okay, I don't think she screamed. Okay, all is quiet. Let's get back inside. Okay, here's the main loot. I was just in the bathroom over there and I pulled out my third toilet pistol that I've found so far. And also I think my second hunting knife, to toilet hunting knife and a blueberry pie there. We're not particularly hungry though. Okay, let's crack into the rest of these chests and see what we can find. Probably a level five spear knowing my luck. There we go. Two lockpicks to get... What did I just tell you? Hey, more damage to bears, though. That's handy to have, I I guess. I mean, we've kind of already killed the bears, but I'll take it anyway. Okay, and that is it for this place. Yeah, you know, odds and ends around here. And um, yeah, I don't think we need to linger in this neighborhood for much longer. I'm, I've been taking these chairs. Um, it's actually a decent source of iron. Let's see what we get here. We have four chairs for 72 iron, not too bad. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to do Aldo's cabinet. Uh, the bakery pawn shop thing is kind of big for my liking. We do have some quests that are right down the street though. Let's go check those out. Oh, hey, look at this. We got a quest to clear out the Hope radio station. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, as far as I heard, uh, this got overrun by zombies and the guy that was running the show here, he went off to live somewhere else for a while. Right, oh, there's a level three spear in the car here. 
I've been dismantling all the cars I've seen today because we just need the oil so badly. Right, let's hit it. Okay, was this, okay, just a clear area here. We do have an infestation that's kinda next door and I'd like to do that infestation today before, <laughs> you know, there's like a, another infestation on top of that some other day. Oh, okay, some bookshelves. Hold up a second. Zombies? What do we got here? Bard! Just call me Bard here. The bookshelf. Oh, with the magazines. I mean, I'm, I'm liking the magazines, but I'm hurting on books as well. We need those spear books. You'd think with all my skill in the spear that we'd be pulling some of these things. Nope. Just magazines. Uh oh. Oh! I was gonna say, I, I thought there might be a cop here or something for a second. Okay, no guns today if we can avoid it. Just lean into the spear. Oh, hey, a working vending machine in the back here. Eye candy. We'll take some skull crushers. I actually need to start stocking up on those for Horde Night. And some hackers? Sure. Ah, potato chip sign. And despite the fact that there's a basement here, we are off to the rooftop next, where we definitely have some birds. Also got a feral here. Isona 1994. And Sean McGee. Okay, I see. Drop him back down into an office. And, oh, it's like those padded rooms that don't produce much of an echo best i can tell at least and this is like uh oh the the talk radio hosts room oh i like that design there that looks slick and now it looks like we're dropping down in let's just make sure we're locked and loaded i think we're pretty good <laughs> i like how there's a tire there to land on oh hello i've woken up one zombie in here somewhere and i'm imagining there must be more here <laughs> behind me crap hyper get out of here man is that gonna be it though Ah, uh, no, several over here, it seems. Oh, crap! Where did these things even come from? Oh, they were hiding behind a wall, of course. And just like that, a mild infection. Oh, there's your way out, I think. Upstairs? Outside? No, we still have zombies here. Okay. And we still have zombies here. Oh, did I miss someone on the rooftop or something? Maybe a bird? Well, let's loot up while we're down here, and then we'll head upstairs. And in the main chest, um, not, not good stuff. Okay, whatever. Oh, crap! Are you the last zombie hiding in the ceiling as I'm walking out of here? Indeed, that's how that worked, okay? So, we're done here, and I think I'm loaded up on the inventory enough so that it's probably time to head back to the base and drop some stuff off. On the way there, I might go see Trader Jen and see if she has a job for the bookstore. Okay, here we are. I think I took a wrong turn and I'm scaling cliffs on the mini bike now, but nope, we made it. All right, let's go check in with Trader Jen. Yesterday we finished off the tier ones and so now we have unlocked the tier twos. Fingers crossed that's going to be good for the cracker book that we did a couple of weeks ago. Survey today? says... No, she does not have it. Job. Okay, a bit of a wasted trip, but we got to do that kind of stuff if we want to get that quest. All right, let's go home and just drop off all of our gear and see how much time we have left after that. I don't know if we can get to another quest today or if we should just focus on some resource harvesting for stone and clay and things to make cobblestone and cement. Okay, home sweet home. Not your home. You get out of here. In fact, it kind of looks like we had a big horde that wandered through here because there's like 15 zombies at the end of the road there. Hey, get the hunting rifle out. We got work to do. That's it. All right, we've got a nice trophy for our expedition today. We'll set this on the floor. I don't know, anywhere is fine, that'll do. And a potato chip sign. All right, let's have some water and an antibiotic. Should be good to go on that front. Probably a bandage wouldn't hurt either. <laughs> and a blueberry pie for good luck here. Okay, we need to get some plant fiber. And then in lieu of doing a quest today, because it's getting late, I think we should head up and try to do Taylor's treasure and that way we can do some digging while we're over there and bring some resources back home with us. That's not the correct bicycle. There we go. I'll meet you over there. Okay, we should be pulling up on the treasure. There it is. Just get some of these trees out of the way. And let's get to digging. And it looks like I found it right over here. Ah, and I ran out of lockpicks. We're doing this the old-fashioned way. And what's that gonna net us today? Nothing good, I guess. 
okay bit of a bust okay but i said we were here for resources and so we shall do some digging and then we're gonna get some plant fiber and then we're heading home we got plenty of time tonight and we only need to do a little bit of construction back at the base there's a couple new things i want to try a couple modifications to make and then we'll be good to go all right 250 plant fiber done let's get out of here no time to waste. Okay, so last night we made up some cobblestone cubes and we were trying to decide on what to do out here. There's a couple of things we need to do. One, I need to get another wood door, craft that, and I wanted to try. I heard a suggestion that there might be a better way to go about this here. So we're just gonna remove that entirely and, and we're gonna see if that kind of it helps zombies fall down a little bit more easily and not having the door frame in the way. Get this patched up a little bit. And then we got to go outside and we got to decide on new shapes to put on the outside that are not ladders that zombies can stick to. Okay, and then there was one shape that I wanted to try here that I heard might might work for this situation. And um, it, oh, it was like a it was like a countertop shape, I think, or a sink shape. Sink? No. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Oh counter sink round hole yeah something like that i think it's this one plate counter hole let's just see what that's gonna look like here oh of course it's got that kind of awkward lip on it but oh that is kind of a weird shape isn't it we could give it a try and see how it goes let's just do this one and that one and we'll try it on one side tonight i'll select some alternative shape for this side what about the plate counter square hole that's going to be very similar to the shape that we were using here before uh, i don't see why not we'll give it a try i suppose and then there was the idea of that trip wire plate or trigger plate i should say let's just put that here just to see if it survives the night is that going to get hit by kind of errant zombie swings or will it last because that's going to be the way that we trigger dart traps up there at some point, hopefully. <laughs> I was just wondering for a second. I wonder if the, Z, the O or the zero block, cause it's, it's like paper thin and I think it's full hit points. I wonder if that would work at all for a fighting position. Uh, I just found this other block here, plate hole. Maybe that was the one I was thinking of and instead of that, the countertop shape over there. Okay, I'm gonna try this one on this side. And between the three of these, hopefully one of them will work to the degree that, you know, we can commit to it on all three sides. Okay, is there anything else to do down here? I mean, if I patch this in, I think it's just going to get destroyed again, unless, unless I did like a belt on the outside, like right here, to see if I could dissuade the zombies from punching through. I do have enough shapes for it. Okay, we're gonna do it. Okay, and for the outside here, let's just go with like a plate, basically. How about a pole plate? Pole plates are a little bit beefier and it's gonna be messy for today, but just a belt like this to see if this will teach the zombies to go in from the front. Yeah, place your bets on whether or not that's gonna work, but um, yeah, my hopes are high. Usually you double layer blocks like that. Zombies do not like it. And there's still a lot of stuff to knock out around here. I've managed to get some of it done, like, you know, lights like this. I don't think we need stuff like that anymore, but um, yeah, like the fire pole, <laughs> this mess over here. Oh, right, this. Yeah, is that? I was hoping that was like perfectly aligned. I think what I wanna do is get a punch turret at some point, a, a robotic sledge and put it like right here and see if we can get a system going where we can punch all of the dogs down. To oh, screamer, ah, crap. <laughs> Okay, just get into position. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna punch all of the dogs into the oil change area. That way we can just lob one pipe bomb down in there and kill them all. Okay, is this working any better? No, oh, she's still, she still got stuck there for a second. I really like that this is very sleek and looks very good to me. This one's not so bad on this side. I got pretty good visibility. Mostly just want to observe their behavior. Are they sticking? Are they crawling? Are they gonna be able to squeeze through? I mean, we've got the scaffolding ladders on the back side, so I'm pretty sure they can't actually get in here anymore. All right, enough testing. Go away, please. And we have the one blade trap here. <laughs> I guess I'll turn it on. I mean, why not? I don't think it's gonna get destroyed. There we go, cigar, we can get that. And blade traps. Any more of those potentially? Just one? Currently held back again by the forged iron. So we'll have to work on that tonight as well. Oh no, there's a whole bunch in there. Scratch that. Craft one more. Now held back by oil, of course. And with that, let's lock and load because the horde is almost upon us. 
looks like another dog dominant horde. Kind of can't wait to get my robotic sledge now. I think that's going to be a great idea. And the zombies, they're looking a little bit more tanky tonight. I don't think they're dying as frequently to the blade trap as they were last night. Huge cluster of dogs down there already. Let's try one pipe bomb for them and see if that helps. Spin them out a little bit. Uh, I don't think so. I think it pretty much requires two right now. There we go. And in terms of what the zombies are doing, I mean, they're getting stuck on the outer wall, it looks like, but I don't think they're trying to carve their way in through the side walls that we just double layered. Although on second thought, it doesn't look like I double layered far enough because now they're trying to claw their way in through the stairs over there. Oh crap, that's gonna mess things up bad. You know, actually the flow here is really bad right now. I'm not sure if the majority of the horde is stuck somewhere or what's going on right now. I mean, the, the blade trap is definitely doing a huge portion of the job for me. Okay, I think that was the, the first occurrence right there of a zombie trying to jump through. It looks like this square shape right here is going to uh, give us the same problems as before. Although they can't get all the way through. I, I don't know. I'm going to probably use this for a while and just see how I like it. And always with the birds. We never did come up with the bird solution. Maybe that's something we should focus on. Not that they're going to do a lot of damage. They're just annoying to listen to. Ah, oh, I found the bird. The bird is downstairs. Okay, how am I going to fix that? Well, first and foremost, fix this problem. Yeah, it's happening with some regularity now, and they just broke the block that was on the outside there. I'm going to shut them down on this side. We'll test out this round shape over here. Ah, I think I finally got the bird out. Get rid of him. Jeez. And how is the fighting going at this side? Also having the same problem, zombies... Well, I'm not sure if he's on top of another zombie's head or if he's somehow wedged inside this circle. Always with the <laughs> crawling zombies, man. Yay, okay, there we go. Take care of the dogs, at least. Okay, I finally brought them over to the, the first side that we set up, and so far I haven't seen any crawling zombies. I wanted to wait for a little bit. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know, but I might like this one the best. It's a little obstructive, but... It's getting the job done at least. All right, we've got a dog that's inside the oil change area as well as a bunch of zombies. That's exactly what we want. <laughs> nice contained area for pipe bombs. Okay, the good news is today is that the belt we put on the outside seems to have worked. The zombies have not clawed their way in from the side, so that's a reduction in damage to the base and repairs to make after that and resources to sink in. So that is improvement. And then up here, I do think I can live with this configuration right here. We don't have risk of zombies squishing through. We don't have zombies crawling or stacking on top of each other. It seems to be well protected here. I like it. Ooh, okay. First cop appearance. Yes, we're on to the third wave tonight. Just ticked past 2 a.m. And we can do our first test against projectile spitting cops. I feel like it should be pretty good. I don't think they have a very good avenue of attack for us. Especially once we get some armor penetration. Okay, so far so good. Um, I've seen a couple cops. Nothing's really happened. <laughs> the major issue I'm having right now is that all these people are just trying to hang out with me here. And it's making things more difficult on me than they need to be. And we also have some dogs down below here. Let's just feed you guys a Molotov and move back over to the center. And we should be able to get this replaced. Whoop, except I'm out of cobblestone. And there it is. Just have the morning bell there. I don't know, the cops didn't seem to be able to do very much at all to me up here, which is makes me very happy. Makes me feel a little bit more comfortable and safe. So at this point, we are just playing the cleanup game. Let's just clear out the zombies, and then I'll toss a Molotov down for the dogs. All right, here we go. This is it. Ah, I caught myself on fire. How typical. Guess I'll go pipe bombs instead. That was working for me all night long, and then when it really counted there at the end, caught myself on fire. All right, I imagine we can just get on ground level here, and whoop! get these guys in front of me for a mag dump, which is probably going to call in a screamer. Oh no, we've got a couple more down here in the pit. Here, silenced weapon, generate less heat, and good, we're done. Let's quickly loot up the loot bags before a screamer does come in. Starting to pull out some iron armor, which is excellent. We'll get switched over to that today. And I do believe that was it, but geez, someone called a cleaning crew. What a mess we've got here. Okay, damage assessment. They did not claw their way in through the sides other than some of the zombies that were inside trying to claw their way out for some reason. They did do this, and I think if we continue the pole plate system beltway all the way around, that will be prevented. Okay, in terms of loot bags, we did pull a level 2 fire axe, which is good. We have 
iron leg armor, iron helmet, and iron boots. We'll get those switched over. And this model, 1887, a tier one, it looks like a lever action shotgun. I definitely want to give this a try. Tommy, AKA Queen B. I'm gonna test this out on you, buddy. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is cool. Let's just compare stats to the Saiga, which is 9.6 damage per pellet for 10 pellets. This one is 11 damage per pellet for 10 pellets. Okay, so significantly better, especially if we get a mod onto it. Yep, up to 11.8. Okay, so we got a new primary shotgun for Horde Knight. All right, my friends, I am going to get things cleaned up, get the inventory stuff put away, and come up with a plan for tomorrow, get the armor switched over. But thank you very much for joining me on my adventure today, and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.